तो सावरे रंग राजी मैं तो सावरे रंग राजी मैं तो सावरे रंग राजी गोविंद मेरो है गोपाल मेरो है गोविंद मेरो है नंदलाल मेरो है श्री बाके बिहारी नंदलाल मेरो है गोविंद मेरो है गोपाल मेरो है श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरे मुरारी हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेव श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरे ये मुरारी हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेव पितुमात स्वामी सखा हमारे पितुमात स्वामी सखा हमारे हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेव श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरे मुरारी हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेव हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेव हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेव Namaste my dear brothers and sisters, boys and girls. The love and blessings of the mother and Sri Aurobindo to all of you from Sri Aurobindo Ashram Delhi branch. You just heard a beautiful Meera Bhajan in the melodious voice of Basudhara. Basudhara is uh, very young, just out of school and studying music in college. So she has decided to use the beautiful voice that uh, she has received as a gift from the Divine for bringing joy to many and uh, already although she's still so young she is uh, an artist a recognized artist with the all india radio now coming to the devotional song that she sang it was a meera bhajan bhajan you know the devotional song and those of you who may not be familiar with the legend meera was one of the most ardent devotees of krishna and uh, she is not a part of mythology she was a historical figure not too old to be considered a part of mythology a few hundred years ago but she is a part of documented history and the legend legend goes something like this that as a child once meera was very excited when she saw a wedding procession and asked her mother when will i marry and to whom will i get married so there was an idol of krishna in that room and her mother in jest told her you'll get married to krishna and she took it so seriously that uh, she started treating krishna as her spouse although later on uh, under family pressure she did get married to somebody but uh, she continued to treat krishna as her only partner the sole partner and uh, this is possible in the hindu tradition because uh, as we saw the other day in vedanta it is the uh, divine that has manifested as all creation and therefore we do not really treat man and god as two entirely distinct entities so man is also potentially divine in essence divine and therefore a devotee can have all types of relationships the other day we heard a devotional song in which uh, the divine krishna was a child to yashoda so the divine can be the child and divine can also be the partner the spouse that is something which uh, has not happened too often but there are a few devotees uh, known in Uh, history who have treated the divine as a spouse 
but then it did create for Meera many problems in the society, and uh, she uh, therefore is uh, praying in this uh, particular devotional song to Krishna, whom she knows uh, not only as the partner but also as the divine. She is praying to him that you know everything, and uh, you know my feelings towards you, my love for you, and. Uh, you are the only one who can protect me from the disgrace which uh, I am suffering at the hands of the society. So she is seeking protection and uh, looking upon him as her saviour. So that is what this devotional song was about. Now today's session is a practical session and uh, you will see it uh, uh, both sort of the instructions and the postures and breathing practices being done by a rather well-known and much-loved yoga teacher, Monika Tyagi, who did a course on teaching yoga with us in uh, the year 2008 and uh, after that has gone on to do more than one courses at uh, the Sivananda School in uh, Kerala at, in, at Nair, Dam, in Nair Dam. And uh, she's continuing that and along with that all these uh, years uh, 13, 14 years since she did the course here, she has been teaching both in the ashram and uh, also in her own studio. And joining her in the demonstration is Dr. Aditi Kaul, whom of course you are all familiar with by now. We are about to begin a yoga session, so please make yourself comfortable. You should be wearing comfortable, breathable clothes. Remove your watches. Please put your mobile phone on silent so that you can fully focus on your postures and your breath. Try to connect to your breath as you inhale. Try to expand the abdomen, chest, broaden the shoulders. And as you exhale, relax the shoulders, drop the chest and stomach goes in. Inhale, deep, exhale. Let's begin today's session with a mantra. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Ubhunaktu Saha Viryam Karavavahai Tejasvinavadhi Tamastu Ma Vidvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Rub your palms When they feel a little warm, bring them close to your eyes Do not press into your eyeballs, just feel the warmth and the energy slowly open your eyes and let's begin you can continue sitting cross-legged or if those who are not comfortable bending the knees you can sit with straight legs so let's get started bring your right hand on the left knee across and lift your left arm straight up at this time we are still looking in front we are not yet twisting Stretch and lift and lengthen your left side. Then slowly on your next exhale, bend towards the right side. Go as far as you can go and continue to take support with your right hand on the left knee. Next inhale, lift up to the center. And on your next exhale towards your left side, start twisting and lowering your left arm behind you. Exhale completely. 
inhale stay here exhale if there's any scope to twist a little bit more you can go a little bit more and on your next inhale lift up your left arm return to the center look in front exhale again bend towards your right side Let's repeat the same movement. Inhale, center. Exhale towards your left side. Twist. Lower the arm behind you. Inhale. Exhale. Twist a little bit more. Next inhale, as you return to the center, lift up both your arms. To the center stretch up let's continue with the other side lower your left hand on the right knee right arm stays up looking in front bend towards the left side exhale inhale straighten up exhale towards your right side twist lower the hand behind you inhale in the posture exhale twist a little bit more next inhale right arm up return to the center exhale bend towards the left side feel the stretch in your right side inhale up again twist exhale lower the hand behind you twist and lifting both the arms up inhale return to the center one final stretch 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 up and exhale lower your arms so we started actually with the middle we started with warming up the around the waist the back now we move up to the shoulders so you can start with the shoulder movement inhale lift the shoulders up back when you pull them down you can exhale and when you bring them forward continue to exhale so two times two points inhale and two points exhale you can exhale complete this full rotation when you pull the shoulders down stop here pause and reverse inhale back and up exhale forward and down inhale back up exhale forward down and release relax some neck movement here so beginning with the looking in front slowly turn your head towards your right side all the way to the right as far as you can go inhale return to the center exhale towards your left side you can also move your gaze along with the movement of the 